Hello and welcome. So today we are going to take a look at uh, Black Arc Linux OS, which is also used for uh, uh, security testing and tutorial hacking. So we're going to see how we're going to download that and install on Mac OS. First, let's go to the website. Black Arc. So after coming here, we're going to click on downloads and then click on ISO. So it's downloading right now. So I'll uh, I'll stop the recording now and once it's downloaded, I'll start again. So we basically what we're going to do is like we're going to um, um, download this and then we're going to use VirtualBox for installation and uh, how to install VirtualBox I'll uh, put a link uh, in the description as well as in the annotation so that you can go to that particular video and you can check it out so I'll uh, come back once this is downloaded okay now the download of the black art has been completed now let's uh, so I have opened my VirtualBox and I'm going to install Black Arc using VirtualBox on my Mac machine. The first thing we're going to do is click on the tools and then click on new. Here we're going to give any name of your choice. So we just say Black Arc. And here, yeah, we select Linux type. And of course, this is the one we're going to select. It's our type uh, Linux type 64 bit. Click on continue. Try and give uh, 2048 or else um, it might crash sometimes. Click on continue. So we're going to create virtual hard disk. Select VDI as an option and click continue. And the best option to select is dynamically allocated. Click continue. 8 GB sufficient. Click continue. Okay. Now we have, we have done this. Now click on this. So in, now you need to select the ISO file which we downloaded. And here it is in the download section. So we can just select that. And we are going to click on start. So I'm going to maximize this. Okay. So the first option we're going to select. So this will take some time. All right. So the username is root. R O O T and the password is black arc B L A C K A R C H. Okay, so now we are going to right click and select the terminal. And the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to enter the command which will be used for uh, installation purpose. So that command would be black arc dash install. So the next thing that we're going to do is select the option. So we're going to select the first option, which is online. Now you want to select the verbos mode, which is the second option so that we get the details while it's uh, getting installed. So here we are going to select the first option and we are just going to say yes. We are going to select the first option which is the key map. This is basically uh, we are going to select the default uh, key uh, map which basically means the keyboard that it supports. So we are going to select the first option. We are going to select US and we are going to give the host name. We can give any name here. We are going to say root one 
and we're going to skip this option because uh, we already connected to the internet and uh, the type of network option we have used for the VM is NAT which means it uses the same network which your uh, local machine has so we're going to skip this option so now it starts downloading basically it, it tries to get the uh, latest packages we wait for some time out here should not take much time because the ISO that we downloaded is the latest is just syncing with the current latest from their uh, server okay so here we have to use no so the issue that we will end up facing if you select yes is uh, we we will get some error uh, which says cannot run a particular command while installing so we don't want that so we just say no so this particular uh, action will take some time so i'm going to stop the video and start again once it's completed uh, the download okay so now we're going to enter dev sta1 which is our boot partition which is the first one we're going to select dst4 which is the latest one so we're going to select the root partition which is dev sta3 and we're going to select ext4 and we're going to select the swap partition which you created which is save sda2 and we say yes say yes okay so this will take some time so i'll stop the video now and start again once the system <clears throat> so now the installation is done. So we need to enter the new password for the root user. And we need to create a normal account. Let's say user 1. So this again will take some time. I'll start the video once it's done. Okay, <clears throat> so the installation has been completed. Now it's asking us what time zone you want to select. So we just select uh, UTC as default. Okay, so after that, uh, we just say yes and enter. this again it's downloading some related packages all right so we we'll select the option six so this should be fast Say 
yes. So this basically downloads uh, different modules which are pretty useful when you're um, using it with. Uh, uh, so we're not using VMware here, we're using uh, what you've also seen now. And uh, this particular step uh, will download all uh, tools which could be used for um, uh, some kind of hacking. So we're going to say yes, because ultimately that's what uh, my upcoming videos uh, is going to concentrate on. So we're going to see how we can use different tools and uh, uh, do some kind of hacking. So we say yes. So this will take some time. So I'll just stop recording and come back later. So the fit to the installation is completed. And so in upcoming videos, I'm um, going to explore this uh, black arc and I'm going to show you all the tools it has. So it's going to be pretty interesting. So please um, continue watching my videos as I cover different tools in both Kali as well as in Black Arc uh, Linux. So please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.